Hey there, Reese Richards here. Uh, I was the number one hot seat member. I was the first person put into the hot seat. Um, so I wanted to do something to give back to the people that are up and coming and that will um, will follow in my footsteps to be, you know, I think we're on uh, hot seat number, number 17, I believe now. So I wanted to um, put something together that uh, gave people some information about uh, what steps to take when they get uh, slammed into the, the hot seat or when they're just re releasing their first WSOs. So um, I've done now uh, since uh, uh, the, the end of November or beginning of December uh, was when the first hot seat was and that was my first WSO ever and I've now released five WSOs and uh, I've brought in uh, total revenues of uh, over $27,000 in those in those first four months and uh, I've learned uh, a lot of different things about uh, releasing WSOs and so um, this uh, short hopefully short <laughs> presentation um, uh, is going to be about uh, the tips that I've, I've learned, the things that I've learned um, when launching WSOs and things that you uh, have to pay attention to when you are launching your WSOs. Okay, so let's get started. We have uh, the system. I've kind of put together um, how I go about doing WSOs now or, or uh, how I, I go about releasing uh, my products on the Warrior Forum. And uh, first, I, I start on the product itself. Okay, uh, I, I try to come up with a, a concept of the product, um, what's going to be involved in the product, maybe like a table of contents uh, for the product, uh, an index, so to speak. Maybe I, I develop a, a mind map and I, I kind of start brainstorming about exactly what uh, the product is going to entail. Okay, Is the product going to be uh, video-based, PDF-based? Is it going to include a, a mind map? Is it going to include uh, JPEGs or images? Um, so all of the different aspects that will that will come together to to create your product so start thinking about your product and then start uh, uh, sketching out uh, either a mind map or on paper uh, an index um, and uh, what's going to be included okay think about it like a, maybe a, like a book and you're, you're creating the index of the book and then uh, you'll just expand on those different uh, chapters as you move along and uh, then once you uh, thought of the the product and uh, you have a cool name that you've thought of, then you want to go out and buy a domain name. So um, uh, as an example, uh, one of my products was called uh, FB University. So I went out and bought uh, fb-university.com. Okay. And then you want to decide whether you're going to go HTML based or, or WordPress. If you're going uh, WordPress, then you, you should know something about uh, WordPress and, and uh, know what kind of theme you're going to use or already have themes. And if you're going to go HTML based, then again, uh, you should probably know something about HTML or CSS or have um, a theme or a template uh, that you can kind of um, base it off of and just fill in the blanks. And then you want to go in, uh, if, you, if you're with... Um, uh, autoresponder or eye contact or, or get response you want to go and get the opt-in code for the form that you're going to use on your uh, JV or affiliate page so uh, you need to have this code to be able to put into your JV page to get affiliates to sign up to your list so that you can notify these affiliates when you launch and then uh, in, in future launches you can notify them that you're releasing a product as well and then you want to go ahead and, and set up your JV page. So uh, once you have your opt-in uh, code set, then uh, and you've decided if it's going to be HTML or, or WordPress, then uh, create your JV page. Okay, and the and the JV page is uh, an introduction video uh, from yourself. Okay, saying what your product is, um, what kind of prizes that you're offering uh, affiliates, why they should jump on board, and eventually it will have links that they can sign up for their affiliate. Uh, there they can go and get their affiliate links uh, for the majority of uh, sorry for the 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 entire process here I will be using a, a warrior plus as an example but you can use um, uh, Mooshpay with uh, with dr. Ben's uh, system uh, for your affiliate uh, tracking you can use uh, digi results you can use JVZoo okay so uh, you set up your your JV page uh, and you want to make it uh, as nice as you can so because it, it kind of gives people an idea of what your what kind of care and attention you you will give um, to your actual product and then you want to apply for your Warrior Plus or your JVZoo Mooshpay links. Okay, so this uh, is done um, in this example. I, I will go in and, and, and do this live, and you will you will go. We will go into uh, Warrior Plus as an example. Okay, I have not used the the other um, affiliate programs here, so I, I'm only familiar with Warrior Plus. Here it says click. Here is here's new listing, right? So we would click on new listing, and then normally they would ask you to 
get a license, okay, and you would click here to get that license, and you'd have to go pay for that license. But this is the month of March, and uh, they're having a special where uh, all the listings are free. So we could just go straight into um, creating a listing, okay, and then to fill out this, you uh, you're you talk about uh, whether it's going to be a buy now. Mostly, it would be a buy now button rather than a subscription based. So buy now your price here. Okay, the name, and you want this to be descriptive and have your keywords inside of this, in, in your inside of your domain name, because affiliates will look at this and decide whether they want to promote your product or not. Uh, you probably don't have to worry about the quantity. Um, this delivery file, if you only have one PDF, then you don't actually need a website. Um, you can just deliver the file directly from uh, Warrior Plus, uh, and it, it has a maximum size of 100 megabytes. And then... If you do use a website, then you want the delivery URL. This delivery URL, if you have an OTO or a one-time offer or an upgrade offer, so idea, uh, essentially you have two products. You have one product on the front end, and then they can upgrade and buy a product on the back end. And so this delivery URL will actually be the sales page, your OTO, your, uh, your one-time offer sales page. Because once they purchase, and they go to PayPal and they pay, and they come back, then they want you want them to be taken to the OTO sales page, which will hopefully sell them or, or upsell them on your other product on your OTO. Okay, And then on the bottom of that page, there will be a link that says, no, thank you. Please take me to my, my product. And then that link will go directly to their downloads. Payment email will be your, your uh, PayPal address. Support email. If you have uh, a support like uh, yourdomain.com backslash support, then put it here. If not, you can put your uh, personal address or you can create an address um, to uh, support at whatever your domain name is dot com. Um, at the beginning, if you don't expect uh, you know uh, thousands and thousands of of, uh, of orders, and and you probably sh shouldn't for your first uh, WSO, then uh, you can probably put your primary um, email address here or a personal email address and uh, handle support yourself. Once you get to a certain level, then you'll want to uh, farm that out or, or outsource that uh, to a um, support desk of some type. And then the refund period. Um, here, if you, if you read this, it says that uh, affiliates will only be responsible for refunds in the first 60 days. So you, you probably don't want to go past 60 days. I personally do 30 days uh, because there are a fair amount of serial refunders. Your refunds shouldn't be more than 5%. But um, there are a fair amount of people that will just uh, buy something, uh, read it over for, for 30 or 60 days, and then, and then refund. So uh, depending on, on how much... Uh, um, confidence or, or how long you want to wait before people are refunding then uh, you can put in either 30 30 to 60 days here um, and I, I wouldn't recommend going over 60 days your keywords here you can uh, put up to three so just put uh, the keywords that are the most relevant um, to your your product okay and then down here the active uh, and the select your WSO we're not going to do anything with this right now and the same thing with the parent listing your max price here is if you are doing a dime sale so if you you start out up here at um, uh, nine dollars and then you put a max price down here at nineteen dollars and you say increase by five cents and every nine sales for example this IPN forwarding URL and key generation URL is a little bit advanced and you probably don't need to worry about it your autoresponder service you can choose it here okay uh, I personally use Aweber and then uh, you would choose Aweber here and then it would, sorry, it will ask you the, the, the name, okay? So this is just like uh, something at aweber.com. So whatever you've named your list uh, for, for this product, that will be that name at aweber.com. And then you'll want to uh, give a, a default commission here, and that's uh, up to you. Uh, anywhere from 50% to 100% is, uh, is, the, is the standard. And then uh, additional information. This is HTML based. So, for example, uh, if you wanted to do a uh, a link, www.yourlink.com, uh, uh, JV. Okay, you can make this uh, clickable. Okay, by, by putting in some HTML code so that when people come here, they can actually click on it to get to your JV page to sign up to your list. Okay, so you can put, uh, don't forget, something like, don't forget to sign up for the OTO and um, check out our JV page here, you know, for, for tools or, or um, uh, more information or pricing. Okay, and then um, 
keep this check WSO uh, of the day eligible and then uh, update your listing okay and now you want to uh, add your affiliate links to your JV page okay the affiliate links to your JV page this is a little confusing at first because you don't know where they where they are where your affiliate links are so what you have to do is look up here at this number okay and write this number down so one two seven three zero write this number down and then you have to use that number in in your in your get links okay so uh, uh, you can either uh, do it by if you see somebody else's page um, then you can check their page so for example this one I, I didn't include a video because I was running out of time I should have had a video right here at the beginning but instead it just says welcome affiliates tells about the, the dime sale the price that it's going to happen um, it tells a little bit about the, the product itself and who who is it for and then it gets into get on the list okay I want I want these affiliates so I put warrior form ID in their email and I want them to get on my on my affiliate list and then uh, I just offer some small these are these are not big prizes at all um, I offer some prizes and then I tell them when the contest ends and here is the the links okay so these links are standard for warrior plus uh, so the all the way to the offer backslash okay so the only thing that changes is this number here and that number if you remember was right here the one two seven three zero so once you you get this listing set up then you can just grab this number here okay and then put it on the end of this link here warriorplus.com backslash affiliate backslash offer backslash and then the number and then the uh, the affiliate can go to that uh, that page and then request to be an affiliate for your product uh, now that you have your your JV page set up you have your links you want to post about your launch okay and you can post there's a, a, a couple of different places but some that are that are good are warriorjv.com okay you can set up a free account there wsolaunch.com this is uh, Dr. Ben's um, launch um, um, calendar and then uh, in the syndicate forum itself okay and then uh, there's a standard way that you can you can talk about your launch. Um, it's it's basically uh, how much you're offering, what the product is, um, contact details for yourself, a brief description. Okay, uh, just go in and look at somebody else's that's already posted and and see how they've done it, and then just copy the same format. Okay, and now you want to finish off your product. So you have all this done, taken care of. So the the advertising is out there. Now you want to take the time to finish your product and finish the OTO if you have one. Okay, and an OTO has to be directly related to your product, and it should be something that is not required for the product for your own the the front end product to work, but it's something that really helps. Okay, so uh, for example, my uh, last. WSO was converting uh, at 50% at the, at the beginning. The OTO was converting at 50%, which was which was fantastic. And uh, because uh, I had um, something on the on the back end that um, would really really help them out. So what it was is a it was a the front end was a PLR product for for Facebook timelines, and then the back end was some some videos and uh, a site and some autoresponder series and brochures and stuff that helped them use the information in the front end to further sell their services. So I gave them everything that they needed in the front, but then I gave them a little bit extra that you, you kind of don't really want to do without. And that's the, the best way to, to um, um, create your, your OTO so that you get the highest conversion rates on your OTO. Okay, now uh, you you finished your product and you want to go out and get reviews. Okay, you want people to review the product, and the best way to do this is to go into the syndicate and post. Say, I need some reviews for for this product. Okay, make sure that you're you uh, listen to the feedback that people are giving you. If they if they have criticism, constructive criticism, take it into consideration and start uh, changing, tweaking your product so that it's a uh, it's not perfection because you'll never get it out there, but it, that it's absolutely excellent. Okay, and now you want to start working on your sales page. So uh, you can create just a, a text-based sales page at the beginning and then go into the, the forum, into the worry forum. There's a test forum in there. Go into the test forum and uh, write uh, or create the sales page inside of the test forum. So you've already written it down in, in a text-based uh, text editor like, uh, uh, like WordPress or sorry, uh, uh, Microsoft Word or something. And then you want to uh, actually a text editor is better because there's no code there so use it in a text editor text edit I think is one um, 
yeah, I use text edit. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm Mac based. Anyway, you, uh, write it in there first, and then copy and paste that into the test form, and uh, put in all the different uh, codes, coloring, um, the sizes, and everything, and, and keep on testing it, testing it, previewing it in there uh, until you get it to the the to to look like you want it to look like. And once it's there, then copy and paste all of that BB code, so the the bulletin board code. Um, over into back into your your uh, text editor okay so you want to uh, save that you, you can submit it because it's a test form and, and see what it looks like and you can tweak it and, and change it um, but once you have it set the way you want it to then you want to copy and paste that text and put it into your text editor okay uh, another way is to do uh, this by images and you can host the images online somewhere. I, I do it with uh, four images. I break my entire sales page up into four images. I host them. Um, you can host them on Image Shack or, or uh, S3, Amazon S3. And then you're just entering an image in your in your test thread to check this, uh, to, to see what the, the thread looks like. And then uh, the good thing about the images is that while it's being while you submit your thread to the Warrior Forum uh, for approval, you can tweak the, the images um, and then uh, once you launch, um, you've, you've got a different sales page, a better sales page because it's been tweaked, as opposed to if you do it in the BB code, you can't change it until it goes live. Okay, now you, you've tested it and, and the sales page looks good. Now you want to take the same code that you took from the, from the test forum and you want to go into the WSO section and you want to create a new thread and then um, create a new post, right, and then paste in this code into there, whether it's the images or it's the BB code, and then uh, preview it and write uh, an enticing um, subject line. And then once you're, you're satisfied with it, then submit. And once you submit it, then uh, all you're waiting for at this point is for the Warrior Forum uh, moderators to look it over and say, yeah, it's good, and uh, uh, send you back a, a private message saying you're okay. Now you want to create your OTO sales page. So your original sales page has been submitted to the Warrior Forum. Now you want to get to work on an OTO sales page. And this is if you have an OTO, if you have a one-time offer. If you don't, then, then don't worry about it. You don't need to work on the, the product, and obviously you don't need to do an OTO sales page. And then back uh, in the listing section, the delivery URL would be the actual download page that you have on your website where they can download the product if you are not using um, the file delivery service that comes with Warrior Plus. Now you want to create a download page. So all of these these um, products that you have, whether it's it's just one PDF or, or a PDF and some videos or a PDF and some videos and a, and a mind map, uh, whatever it is that, that constitutes your product, your entire product, you want to create a download page for the main product itself, and if you have an OTO, you need the download page for that as well. And don't forget that uh, the download page contains just the main product, but the OTO contains the main product and the OTO. So if you have um, a uh, Facebook PDF as your main guide, and then videos as the OTO, your download page will just be the Facebook PDF, and your OTO page will be the Facebook PDF plus your videos. And then once you have it all set up, you want to test it in as many different browsers as you can. And make sure that you're able to download and view uh, either the videos or, or the PDFs, and that everything is working perfectly. Okay, now we got to get into uh, writing autoresponder email series. So once the, the thread goes live, you're not going to have time to, to uh, write uh, emails to your new customers. Okay, You're not going to have time to write emails to your new customers. So you want to pre-write these for your autoresponder series. So if you're using uh, Aweber, for example, then um, you want to write you know, at least the welcome message to them, and the welcome message has to be enticing enough, uh, and you, you might want to consider putting a bonus in there that gets them to click that link so that they actually end up on your list. So you can write an autoresponder series uh, with a, a welcome message that says, hey, uh, thanks for hopping on board uh, my Facebook product or my XYZ product. Uh, I'm going to be sending you some bonuses um, uh, by, by email in the, in the coming days. So don't forget to click confirm to confirm your email address uh, so that you don't miss out on these bonuses. Okay? You will not get 100% of the people that buy your product to get on your list, but uh, you're, you're trying to get as many as you possibly can by wording this welcome message in such a way that uh, people kind of feel uh, like they're going to miss out on something if they don't click the confirmation. 
And so in addition to the welcome message, then uh, you'll want to write a, a couple more, maybe um, two more, three more that are, are one a day that uh, will be telling them a little bit more about the product, maybe how to use it, um, uh, welcoming them to the product, uh, telling them about uh, you and how you're going to treat your list and what they can expect from you, that kind of thing, so that you don't have to worry about writing these um, after you, you go live because you're going to be busy uh, for, uh, you know, not, not just the next day, depending on how many you, you sell, you could be busy for the next week. You know, uh, you have support, you have to answer the thread, um, you, you have to take care of the, the emails, you have to take care of customer complaints. Um, there's a lot of different things that, that kind of come at you with affiliates and everything. Um, so it's, it's a lot of stuff to take care of um, once you're managing a, a live product. So you don't want to do this right now. And then you want to write the autoresponder series for affiliates. So these are the people that, oh, it's, you have a JV page, uh, and they have entered their information into the JV page, the, the, the autoresponder, they get a welcome email as well. It says, hey, you know, thanks for jumping on board as, a, as a, an affiliate for this product. I really appreciate it. I know that you're going to love the product and make a lot of money, and I know that your list is going to think it's fantastic. And then you give a couple reasons why it's fantastic, and tell them, I'll send you another email uh, right before launch, uh, to let you know that we're about to go live, okay? And then you set up two more emails, one to go uh, an hour or, or two hours before you actually launch, and it's already on, it's pre-programmed, and then one to go um, at launch time. So if you launch at 6 p.m. EST, then you have pre-programmed one to go at 5 p.m. EST, and then one at 6 p.m. EST. And then you also want to write your autoresponder series for your existing customer list. If you have... If this is not your first WSO and you have um, an existing customer list, then you want to tell your customers about the new product that you're releasing. So you want to do the same thing kind of as the affiliates and uh, tell them uh, maybe a day before or two days before. It depends on how much time you, you've given yourself. But uh, give them some pre-warning that you're coming out with a new product and build up the anticipation towards that new product and then tell them an hour before and then uh, right at the, the launch date, especially if it's a, a dime sale that you've chosen uh, so that they can get in at the best price. You want your own customers to have the, the best possible price that they can get in at. Once your WSO is uh, the thread has come back and, and, and the moderators at the Warrior Forum have said, it's good, you'll get a private message in your, in your PM box, in your inbox, that says, now all you need to do to make this live is to click here to pay. Once you click and uh, you go over to, uh, say, PayPal to, to pay the, the $40, once that is paid, then the thread will automatically become live. And you want to do this about 15 minutes before the scheduled launch time, just in case there are any little glitches that you have to deal with. Um, you don't want to leave it until exactly 6 p.m. EST, and then uh, you find out that there's there's something uh, that went wrong, and you don't have any time at all to, to fix it, and then your affiliates are, are mailing out, and, and it just becomes a, a big mess. So try to do it a little a little bit beforehand, and then uh, it gives you some time to set everything up and make sure that it's uh, it's ready to go. Okay, now it's go time, go time! All right, so now you've paid, you hop back from PayPal, and you rush back to the Warrior Forum, and you go to the WSO section, and you refresh, and you find your link at the top. And then you want to click the link, and then scroll right down, and then click the reply. The first, you want to be the first person to reply, and just type in reserved for FAQ and post, submit post, okay? That's all you need for now. And then from there, from there, you want to go over to Warrior Plus, okay, and again, that, if this is what you're using, I haven't used anything else, so I'm not sure. Go over to Warrior Plus, and then you want to go into your listing and associate your Warrior Plus listing with your new WSO thread. So, what that looks like is, we have a listing here, and we've always said, this is your WSO post. So, you have to choose whatever your post is, and associate that post with this. So the, the, if you have a, your front end offer, it will be this one will associate with the whatever the subject line is that you've chosen for your uh, Warrior Form thread. And then if you have an OTO um, on, on another listing, so this is 12730, and then the next one will be 12731 if I, if I was quick enough. And your, your parent listing would be the the, the same one, okay, so the same post. So 
Um, this one, would, I would choose something here, okay, at the top, and not nothing down here for the parent post. And then when I create the other listing for my OTO, then I would just come down here and click uh, parent listing, and I would uh, select the the uh, WSO post with that, okay. And you want to do that very quickly because without doing that, you, you will not have live buy buttons. Okay, so now you go into your OTO W plus listing and you associate that with a parent. I've just shown you that. Okay, so make sure that you associate both the, the, the your initial front end listing with uh, uh, a thread and then go into your OTO listing and associate it with a parent. All right, now it's time to wait for the money. Okay, if you're super lucky, you'll have tons of cash flowing in at this point. Okay, and then uh, you'll also have a lot of uh, affiliates uh, requesting to to uh, to uh, promote your offer. So first thing you want to do now is go back to your main thread, and uh, at the top of your thread, you want to subscribe to the thread. So. Here is my my last thread. So up at Thread Tools, okay, I can see subscribe to this thread. So subscribe to the thread and click Instant when you get to the to the next page. Okay, so this will give you an email whenever anybody replies to the thread. So it'll keep you on top of uh, uh, responding to people's questions and comments. Okay, now you want to open up five different windows in your browser, and those five windows are one is for your your WSO thread. Okay, and then three of them are in Warrior Plus, if you're using Warrior Plus, and they're all in WSO Pro. One of them is My Affiliates, and uh, those are the people that are going to be uh, requesting approval to promote your products. Another one is My Listings, and this will tell you how many sales you've made. And then the other one is My Affiliate Stats, which will show you which affiliates are making sales. And then the fifth tab, or, or, or window, sorry, uh, it should be actually uh, uh, tabs in a window. The fifth one is your email. I've set this up so that I have the tabs on top, okay? And uh, so here's my my uh, email address. Here is um, my affiliates, okay? So these are the people that are going to that are applying for um, the the ability to promote my product. And you'll get a lot of these people uh, applying for your product. And uh, most, some of them are, are, are bots, I, I guess, and, and they just don't, they don't do anything, and they apply for every product that comes down the pipe. So you want to uh, make sure that you look at these notes here. It says Hi Reese requesting PLR pack. Greg Burgess, and and, and he has his his name and uh, his email address. Some people just say thank you, um, kindly approve the offer. Okay, uh, you want to check these people out to make sure that. Um, they are people that you want to promote. So you go in and you have to unfortunately check out each person and see, okay, look, zero posts. Okay, so this person has no activity on the warrior form. That does not mean that that they, um, in and of itself, that they're going to be bad uh, affiliate marketers. You know, not every affiliate marketer uh, lives on the on the warrior form. So uh, you have to send these people a message, and and we'll get into into the message later. But uh, you have to review each of these people. Okay, and check out each of these people to see what kind of activity they have, um, whether they promoted other products, do they have uh, WSOs of their of their own? And here's a good tip as well: if somebody knows what they're doing, then you will see both their names if you have a main product and an OTO. So if somebody is uh, an experienced affiliate marketer, then they will know that they have to apply for the main product and the OTO. Okay, the main product and the OTO. If someone just applies for one, then it's likely that uh, they don't really know what they're doing. Okay, so they're they're not familiar with the system, and they're not they don't know that they're supposed to apply for both of them. So it's a good uh, indicator that they they're not so experienced as an affiliate marketer. If, however, it's somebody you know and um, they apply for just one, then you want to send them a message with the link to the other one to say, hey, don't forget to apply for this one as well, because they will not get credit for that, and you don't want to uh, annoy your affiliates. Uh, especially people that you know or or big affiliates, and you want your thread so you can follow um, you can follow any comments that are made on your thread, and then my listings. Okay, this will show you uh, what kind of sales you're making. So uh, as you can see here, this is a uh, all time, and uh, we're just over twenty seven thousand dollars in in income. Um, it doesn't show a date on here, but uh, this is from. Uh, 
end of November uh, last year, so end of November uh, uh, 2011. And uh, this is not obviously uh, all income and profit. Uh, I've made, about, I guess, about half of that in profit with uh, the list that I've built and the, and the sales that I've made in affiliate uh, commissions from, from the list. So this, uh, you can see how many, how many sales you've made uh, by going down the list here. So uh, you can see that the last product was, was fairly decent, you know, 671, and still, it's still going, still sell, selling. And uh, it settled in at a 9% front-end offer and a 42% um, OTO. Okay, a very, a very decent, respectable um, it actually started out uh, very well at like 19% uh, on the front end and and 50 some odd percent on the on the back end. Um, and then once you start approving more and more affiliates that you're uh, as as you as you continue down the road, uh, maybe that you don't know so well uh, or that don't really have a good relationship with their list, then they start bringing down the sales. So um, an example of that, if we change the date here. Okay, you can see their their percentages are a lot different here. Okay, so uh, somebody has a an 18% uh, compared to a 4%. Okay, so uh, people that have relationships with their list, they have a very good uh, high percentage, and people that don't have uh, very good uh, relationships or the offer isn't suited to them, then they get really low um, hop conversions. People with zero posts or very very low post counts or no activity, then and they haven't written any notes to you at all then you just want to send them a canned affiliate uh, rejection letter. And uh, the letter says something like this. Your request to... So this is a, a PM that you send to them. You can send it as a visitor message as well, um, or you can send it as a PM. So the subject is your request to promote uh, my product. And then, thanks for applying to become an affiliate for my XYZ product. I just want to let you know that the Warrior Forum warns us against approving people we don't know or, we don't know or who have low post counts. Uh, since you only have uh, zero post counts, could you please send me an email at blah, blah, blah to let me know how you plan on promoting my product? And you have to put in your email address because people with uh, low post counts cannot PM you. Okay, so make sure that you put your your uh, uh, email address in there. And if you send out uh, 50 of these, you might get one person or maybe two people that actually send you an email. I, I'd say one. So very few people will actually follow up and send you an email. So that tells you that they're not... Um, serious about promoting your product. And then the last thing, we have thread management. So your thread is going live and people are now starting to comment and you can see that in your email and, and you're going over every time somebody comments, you want to make sure that you go straight over there and uh, respond to the post as soon as you possibly can. Okay. Sometimes they're asking questions about your product that uh, and, they're, and they're sitting there waiting for you to, to answer these questions. So make sure that you go over there and answer their questions as soon as uh, as soon as they actually uh, post them, and as soon as somebody responds in any way uh, to to your post or on your thread, and if somebody, even if somebody is very negative, uh, you want to be as polite as possible. Remember that you're not face to face with this person, so it's easy for you to be polite uh, by typing something in. Um, I mean, me, even this is really something that uh, that I have trouble with. Um, I couldn't uh, be as polite face to face with somebody if they're if they're bashing a product. You know, I would feel like punching them in the head, but. So I, I have a problem with it. If I was face to face, I couldn't do it. But uh, because I'm typing it out to them, I, I just uh, smother them with with kindness, you know. Like, and and I, I can I can do that because I'm I feel like I'm kind of doing it sarcastically. So I'm I'm having the last laugh anyway. And then they don't feel um, like you're 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 trying to argue with them. And then they feel good and, and everybody's happy. So try to be as polite and as helpful as possible uh, to everybody, even even the arseholes. And then if somebody writes a, a good review of your product, um, you want to quote it and, and respond. This is just a regular quote, and then it's just somebody asking a question, okay? So I, I just quote it, I, I, I press quote, and then I just type out my answer to that question. But if somebody has a review, and they, and they leave it in here, then, okay, like this here. This person says, awesome package. So I quote this person, and then in the, in the, in the quote, okay, uh, Okay, let's say this one here. This is Kristen. In this quote, now, I will highlight something, okay, and uh, whatever stands out, and then I will increase the size to five, and I will change the, the color, okay, so that it, it, it looks um, a lot more, more attractive, right? When people are just scanning down the post, they can see these, this big red, Oh, okay. Uh, it says it's too short. Uh, I actually have to say something as well. Um, so you you have to say. Uh, 
thanks so much for the kind words. Okay, and then and then preview that. And then there you see it's it's large and and red. Okay, so people can can see it when they scan down. So I'm obviously not going to say that. Uh, and then you want to to multi quote. So if you scroll up here, you can see at the bottom of my sales thread, I have testimonials from my my last WSO. Okay, and uh, it's the same style that I have here. And to do that on 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 your current thread. You would go through and multi-quote, and then multi-quote whoever you want to quote, okay? And then the last person, you would you would click quote. Okay, the box comes up now, and it's got all of these different quotes in there, okay? And then you just want to copy that, okay? And then you get out of here, and you go back to your thread, and you want to now edit your thread and then you would just enter that information right in here at the bottom okay and then save and that would give you your testimonials either you can put them on the top or, or you can put them on the bottom okay so that's basically how you do uh, many positive reviews how you multi quote and add them to the top or bottom of your thread and it gives uh, some social proof other people have said like wow this this WSO is, is fantastic uh, you've, you've got to check this out Okay, and that's basically everything. I mean, there's a, a lot more to it, but hopefully I've, I've run over um, all the different things that I, I struggled with when I first started. I, I didn't know what order to do everything in, so I, I kind of uh, muddled my way through it and, and finally figured it all out, and then I, I got better as I, I released the next product, the next product, the next product. So um, eventually, uh, I mean, I, I've got it down to a kind of a, a little science, I guess, and, and I wanted to give back to, to um, the syndicate forum, and hopefully... This information will be invaluable to you as you go forward and produce your WSOs. And uh, do pay attention to, to everything I've said in here and follow along and uh, you should have uh, no problems. Realize that there, um, even though I say you'll have no problems, I mean, in, in the overall scheme of things releasing the WSOs, there are always going to be some little glitches that happen, okay? And, and you just have to be uh, prepared for them. And, and, and once you're prepared for them, then it doesn't become a, a huge issue, okay? Uh, it's not going to be the end of the world, and no one's going to remember you for that person that, oh, they didn't associate their buy button quick enough or something, okay? And it doesn't really matter. Just to try to um, dot all your I's, cross all your T's, and make sure that everything is, um, is set up properly, and then you shouldn't have any problems when it comes time to actually releasing your WSO. So that's pretty much it. And I hope you enjoy the ride, and I really hope that you enjoyed this uh, this video and that you got a lot out of it. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing your WSOs on the Warrior Forum.